Hello! Welcome back to another TechBiz tutorial. We are learning more about programming with the Zumo bot using Arduino. And we've learned how to have the motors of the robot turn and move back and forth. So we're going to use that strategy again today but we also are going to incorporate the sensors at the bottom of the robot that allow you to distinguish between a line of a different color. So we're going to use this for a border detection code program. So at the top of our program here, and I'll go through this quickly so you can pause if you need if you need to to type it, but to make the tutorial not last forever, I'll go through quickly. We want to include wire.h and we want to include zumo32u4.h. So we want to include these two libraries. And we want to define QTR underscore threshold at 700. Now this is going to be the uh, kind of variable uh, that we're using to determine the line. So the demonstration I'm using is a black surface with a white masking tape border. Okay, so if, if 700 doesn't work and it's not noticing that border very well, sometimes you need to go in and change that stuff up and uh, play around with that number. You know, lower it, increase it uh, to where it will start working. It's kind of a trial and error, but 700 is good for a black surface with white lines uh, with this code. Okay, then we're going to define reverse speed as 200. We're going to define turn speed as 200. We're going to define forward speed as 200. We're going to define reverse duration in 200. This is in milliseconds. Okay. And uh, we have turn duration, which is also a time. So these up here are going to be speeds, you know, how fast it's moving, like with our motors that we used in our previous lessons. These are going to be how long we want it to go in reverse or how long we want it to turn. We need to uh, have a variable for our Zumo 32U4 LCD and for the button A and for the motors and for the line sensors that are underneath. All right, and then we want to define num underscore sensors three and we want to use an unsigned integer for line sensor values which is going to be our in brackets num underscore sensors. All right, then uh, we're down to our basic part of the code, our void setup, the thing that's going to run once. LCD.clear. We want to clear that LCD screen. LCD.print. Uh, press A. And we want it to uh, just have a, that's another way to, on that screen, have it display the text press A so people know to press the A button. Line sensors. Dot in it three sensors is from the Zumo library. We want to initialize the three sensors. Uh, button A dot wait for button. We want to wait for the button A to be pressed and then it's going to clear the LCD screen of all text and it's going to delay for three seconds. So we have time to put the robot down after we press the button. That's our setup. Here's the loop. All right, so line sensors dot read line sensor values. So this is going to read uh, or grab a value of the line sensors that are underneath the robot. If line sensor value of zero is less than QTR threshold, which is that 700 value we put earlier. So in other words, if the leftmost sensor detects a line, it's going to reverse and turn to the right. So the motors dot set speeds will go at the speed of negative reverse speed, common negative reverse speed, 
and our reverse speed is 200 that we defined earlier so it would be negative 200 negative 200 uh, we're going to delay for the reverse duration so that's the time that we put above then we're going to go motors dot set speeds turn speed negative turn speed so one of them is going to go 200 the other one's going to go negative 200 or whatever the value was we put for turn speed delay is going to be the time we put up at the top for turn duration motors dot set speeds is then going to be forward speed comma forward speed so again if we need to change anything for this like if if we're like man I need it to go in reverse a little bit longer we would just change it um, up here not in all the places down here in the code we just change it up conveniently at the top that's why we do it like that okay that's the first if statement now else if line sensor values num underscore sensors minus one is less than threshold in other words if the rightmost sensor detects the line it's going to reverse and turn to the left so we're going to go motors dot set speeds reverse speed negative reverse speed negative reverse speed uh, we're going to delay for the reverse duration and then we're going to have it turn the opposite way so this first left motor is going to be the negative speed and then over here we have the turn speed all right and then we're going to delay for the turn duration variable we defined above and then motors dot set speeds to our defined forward speed from the beginning of the code all right if the number sensor on the left or the number sensor on the right don't detect the lines this is our else the robot is just going to be driving straight forward simple as that so our, we're giving our robot basically three choices if you see a line to the left you're going to back up and turn to the right and then continue going forward if you see a line on the right you're going to back up turn to the left and then go forward otherwise you're just always going to drive forward all right so uh, that's our code there so here we have that I am now going to upload this to our robot, to our Zumobot, and then we'll check out the demonstration and see if this works. Hey, let's check it out here. So we have the uh, program uploaded to the robot. As we can see on the display, it says press A. All right, and I'm going to press this A button. The text disappears and it'll start driving forward. And here we have it. That's the three options. So it sees it there on the right, turns left, it's turning left. And you can see it's kind of like that old DVD screensaver. I want to see if we'll get the robot to bounce just right in the corner and see what happens. But there we have it. That's our demonstration for this. As you can see, our, our robot's able to identify the line border and it backs up and then it turns and then it goes forward until it happens again. Thanks for watching.